Greetings. So this is going to be for the Leo, Sun, Moon, and Rising signs for April 2019. This here particular reading um, is targeted toward love situations, but it may resonate for platonic partnerships and relationships as well. But please keep in mind that this is general, so it may, it may not resonate for you in your situation. If you are interested in a personal reading, you can check the... Um, Sorry, the description box below and all the information that you will need will be present there. Thank you to all of my new and my old subscribers. I really appreciate your support. If you are new to my channel and you are not subscribed, please hit the subscribe button. Also, if this message resonates for you, please give it a thumbs up and comment if you wish. I'd love to hear from you all. If anyone is interested in daily pick up card readings, you can follow me on Instagram at Bree Spirit God Insights. I also have personal reading reviews on there as well if you're interested in looking into that. I hope, um, okay, so this reading is going to be going in depth um, and underneath the surface of what's really going on within this connection to provide you all with the most clarity possible. Um, so yeah, let's see. Whether you are not committed to this person and you're moving on, whether you're kind of still dealing with this person or whether you're fully committed to this person. Okay, so we have the hangman and the king of wands in the reversed. We have the six of swords and the king of cups in reversed. We have the queen of swords in reversed and the seven of wands in the reversed. We have the Judgment card and the Page of Pentacles. We have the Six of Wands and the Ace of Cups. So um, for a lot of you, I feel like this person is just an asshole. Like seriously, this person is an asshole. Um, I feel like you're dealing, you could be dealing with a Pisces, an Air Sign, Aquarius, Gemini, or a Libra. You could be dealing with um, Sagittarius or an Aries, Leo like yourself could be dealing with yeah i just see a lot of fire and water here um it could be any other sign really um but yeah so yeah i feel like this person's an asshole i feel like this person goes kind of like they're a go with the flow kind of person like they don't want to be limited it and I feel like they kind of want to spread their energy and their aggression and their passion like all over the place. Um, I feel like this could be a situation. I feel for a lot of you, this is a situation where you walked away from this person or they walked away from you. Um, but I feel more so it was you walked away from them. And I say that because I feel an uh, energy of this walking away being really hard. Um, to deal with or it was really hard to do um, but it's kind of like an energy of something you felt like that needed to be done um, I feel like this person is very shut offish um, I feel like this person they're coming up in reverse um, why is the king of swords in reverse that's too many damn cards You have the Emperor card and the Nine of Cups. So they're very like, I feel like this person is like, it's my way or the highway kind of energy. I feel like this person um, is very like, cold in the sense that like they're very how do I explain this it's an energy of this person feeling like they're right and they're in control and their mission and their drive is based off of what they're wanting and the outcomes that they want and their fulfillment and I feel like they don't care about anything else and I feel like um when this person isn't needing or you don't have something that this person wants to fulfill them, they just kind of shut you off. Honestly, that's what I'm getting. Um, 
feel like this person maybe intends to come back in and try to get a second chance. But I feel like they're not coming with really offering anything. We have the strength card in reverse. I feel like this person is not really that confident and working with the situation. Um, let's see. Why is the page of pentacles? We have the four of swords. So I feel like this person in turn, uh, intends to come back into your life at some point um, and try to reconcile. We have the five of wands and the nine of wands for this um, strength card in reverse. I feel like they may feel like it's going to be a thing where um, because you're very upset or maybe you're on to them or just whatever it is, it's going to be very hostile and it's going to maybe take a lot for them to get you to um, kind of like a more calmer place. Um, because I feel like you may be very defensive or argumentative or maybe even like want to beat them up or something because they're an asshole. Um, let's see. I feel like as far as their desired um, outcome, it's like it's an energy of getting somewhere with the six of wands, getting some recognition, getting some reward. Um, but it's more so based off of that fire energy, that aggression, that lust, that like heavier kind of. I feel like once that's out or they're interested in other things because they're kind of like their energy is like all over the place. I feel like you have the chariot card. Some of you are dealing with the cancer. Also have Aries. I already mentioned that as well. Um. We have the Knight of Wands. So, yeah, I feel like this person intends to come back in and kind to kind of express some sort of love, emotions, or whatever to be able to move forward in a sexual way. Um, I feel like that's kind of like their intentions or the kind of relationship they want to have with you is more so based off of sexual things. But I feel like it's just more so like this person is just like all in it for what they can get and their emotions and their fulfillment. And I feel like... That's why this person comes to you. Okay. What is this? Oh, Leo. Oh, Leo. So we have the five of cups and the ace of cups. So I feel like this is a situation where um, there will be some expression in love. And like a lot of new starts are replenishing uh, love situations. But I feel like it's always going to end up in um, you getting stuck. And the in the transitional phase where it's supposed to become something more and it's not and then you get hurt I feel like there is um, always going to be something kind of lacking here for you within this situation because this person um, doesn't have just intentions so I hope that this reading helped you all you can check your moon your rising sign you also can check your Venus placements um, all the information for personal readings are in the description box below. Thank you all so much for watching and I will see you all next time.